What the fuck? Once again, as if I never said it a million times before, the Resident Evil movie series completely sucks donkey nuts unlike any other video game related movie in history. But the latest Resident Evil movie, Resident Evil Retribution, oh my god, shit hit the moon with this one. I don't even know where to begin with this abomination. First of all, the movie makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. A whole bunch of everything happens for no apparent reason. The movie starts off right where the last one left off. On a ship with a whole bunch of people wearing white just running around screaming like a bunch of chickens and they're getting shot down by these helicopters. Now, Alice is just standing there with her little guns and the way she plays her part in this movie is absolutely terrible. Mila Jovovich, stop making Resident Evil movies. She goes into sequence and she pulls out her guns and this is all she does as she's getting shot down by these helicopters. Bang, bang. Then some bullshit happens and then you finally realize that this movie completely sucks and it's only been 60 seconds. Alice wakes up in a room that's covered in white, there's a little umbrella logo at the bottom, I don't even know, none of that shit ever happened in the actual game. So she wakes up, she's naked, by the way. She's completely naked. She wakes up, she's naked, and as she's laying there, she's realizing, oh where am I, oh no. And then she realizes that Jill is on like the other side of like a glass wall and she's looking at, you know, Alice with like this, this freaking thing on her chest. She's like, oh, who are you working for, Alice? Who are you working for? And then Alice is there like, I do not know. It's just terrible, God. The most astonishing and most humiliating thing is Wesker is back. I don't even know how, just let's, let's, let's just go on with this. He's back and he's trying to help Alice? What? Didn't he try to kill her? Why are you helping her? That was the whole point of the last movie. You guys had like this epic Matrix style fight with all these guns and knives and dogs with like seven heads and like a spaghetti monster and like you what you're helping her now? What the hell was the point of the last movie then? So Wesker sends in his little team to go try to see if they can get Alice out of there and bring her, you know, to him. And this little team consisted of Barry, surprisingly, he finally makes his debut like a thousand years later. Leon, which also makes his debut a thousand years later, he is like way outdated. And, you know, two other douchebags that I did not have no interest for. So, he sends in these guys to go and try to put uh, some explosives on like some ice, and if something doesn't you know, go right, they're gonna set off the explosives or whatever. Mind you, the facility that Alice was in is supposed to be like the main corporation for Umbrella. Like this is the pinnacle of their research. This is like the pinnacle of their organization and it's like deep underground, like underneath some ice or whatever. So Leon goes in there, Barry goes in there and they try to solve shit and it's just terrible. So Alice, you know, she gets her little uniform, she gets her little guns which is oh it's just awful the acting so she finally goes off and then uh, the Red Queen is back how I do not know she's back and she's telling Alice oh you're your project Alice you're gonna die blah 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 and then she pulls off the same quote that she had in the first movie by saying you're all going to die down here and it was just terrible I wanted like to punch the person next to me even though I was with the female you know I didn't want to punch her so I just wanted to punch somebody else so it was terrible. Then, you know, then Ada comes along. Ada Wong. It's like, whoa, like, where did you come from? Like, where were you in the last movies? She comes along, she starts telling Alice, well, yada, 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 I'm sent by Wesker to try to help you. So I assassinated a whole bunch of nobodies, and here I am. So she tells Alice that everything is simulation. So if she goes off and ventures into a room, it's going to be simulated into a, a, a specific location, like New York or Moscow or whatever. So. She goes and she goes into like the first stage and it's Tokyo, whatever. We, we look back and we saw the beginning of the last movie and there was like a, a, a Asian zombie lady that ate somebody else and then they got a whole bunch of zombies chasing her. So Alice then pulls some Steven Seagal shit and like starts snapping necks and elbowing people and like karate chopping and like shooting them in the face and using like this chain to like beat the piss out of them. And it, it was just, I'm sitting there like this. And I, and I look on over to the girl that was with me, I'm like... Man, this is bad. This this is just bad. I'd rather go see Finding Nemo. I wanted to get up and leave. 
But you know, I couldn't because we never knew if security was down there, but whatever. So then after she does that, whatever, they go off and then Michelle Rodriguez is back in the movie and she plays two roles. She's a bitch and she's a clone. So, bitch clone. I don't know. So she comes back and whatever. And it, it was just terrible. The acting was terrible. The story was terrible. Paul W.S. Anderson, do not make no more Resident Evil movies. I swear to God, they all suck. The end of the movie, obviously, I'm going to spoil it right here because it's nothing important. Alice, she meets up with Wesker. They go on top of, like, the White House or whatever the hell it is. You know, Wesker's telling her, this is it. This is the last of humanity. This is the last of us in this building, whatever. And we need to fight that. And as the camera's zooming out, there's like billions and billions of zombies and billions of creatures and liquors and, you know, undead dogs and, you know, spaghetti monsters and tooth fairies and like, you know, Simba from The Lion King. They're all there. And it's just like, really? There's going to be another movie? Number one, where was Chris? Number two, where the hell is half the characters that were missing from the other movies? Like, they were all gone. And the fact that everything was simulated and the fact that, you know, she had a daughter. When did she ever have a daughter? Somebody, like, I'm lost right now. When did she ever have a daughter in the other movies? In this movie, she has a daughter. And she's a fucking clone. Go figure, right? I give this movie a rating of dog shit because this movie was absolutely nothing more than dog shit. And I regret even watching that. I'd rather, I'd rather watch Nickelodeon. I'd rather watch Spongebob than watch what I saw in that theater. It was absolutely terrible. Resident Evil Retribution is equivalent as Dragon Ball Evolution because both those movies are the worst movies I've ever seen in my entire life, period, end of story. Nobody can even compare those two movies. That, that's how much they suck. If you're planning to go see Resident Evil Retribution, do not see it. If you're hearing the sound of my voice, if you want to conserve your money, do not. Do not see Resident Evil Retribution. It was that bad. Go see The Possession or Finding Nemo or The Expendables, which is really good. You know, go watch that. Go watch, you know, The Bourne Legacy or something. Do not watch Resident Evil Retribution. If you watch Resident Evil Retribution, I swear to God, you are a derp and you should just jump off a building because it was that bad. On that note, everybody, don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Please give my video a thumbs up. And on top of that, I will be seeing you guys later. And do not go to see Resident Evil because if you do, I'll just... just oh. Just don't. It's just, man, this movie's a waste of fucking money. I don't even know why anybody wants to go see it.